had visions of um, Cal against Davox game three. <laughs> I was like four stocks up to one, and I started like dropping him. Yeah, I saw him get <laughs> that like combo in the next stock. I was like, this could go roughly. It's like, please no. <laughs> Look at all this stream technology I've acquired from <laughs> having to do all the bloody streaming at yeah, SMC. Yeah, when Kai, whenever when Kai was gone, I was stuck there. Oh no, oh, god damn. Um, yeah, when you did it earlier um, today, I was like, damn, this guy knows. This guy knows how to move the cameras. Yeah. That's the one thing I was doing way wrong at SXC was I was clicking these little boxes. Oh, okay. So that one gets rid of what character's like in there. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. That one gets rid of the name from the database. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you click the, uh, where's the clear all player info instead, or like click and drag or something. No. So no peach yet. Haven't, haven't needed it. Haven't, not even needed. <laughs> I've, I've, I've noticed now, like when I say, I mean, okay, net play friendly. Yeah. You shouldn't take that to like yeah, hard yeah. completely. But I know it's like when I switch from Fox to Peach, I'm. I feel like I'm doing worse. I feel like it's gone to the point where. Yeah, I feel like it's is, probably my, like specific matchups, like maybe Ruben used to need it for. Yeah. But I feel like my Fox has improved, but my Peach has also gone a bit rusty. Really? Which is not, yeah. Which, which, which you could probably like get rid of in a space of minutes, but. They'd have to actually play the minutes. I um yeah, I can't see myself going peach at all today unless I play Ruben. Yeah. Well there's no need. Yeah, there's no need. I mean maybe against I was considering if I lost to Milo game two. If he stayed Falco, oh, yeah. I would have potentially gone peach. He could have just gone back to FD. But I could have yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the chain grab him. Oh. That didn't look very anti SC. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't come back from nowhere. So was it Eddie or Brad in the past has done like decently well against Kai? Like not so much uh, taking sets, but like Brad's I think they swap back and forth. Who's like decent against Kai? Sure. They both have. I think it's more they have on and off days against Falco, where they're like either aware of it, like what Falco's doing, and Eddie won't just plays Donut. So at the very least, he's got the basics of what <laughs> Falco does. Yeah. Going for him. I mean. Like, obviously, no one near caliber of player or that, but I think at the very least, he's been playing Falcons. You can, yeah, you can, like, get a feel for combo weights. Yeah. For, um, for dealing with lasers, to an extent. Not yeah. so much the move that comes out of the laser, after the laser, because it's going to vary, yeah. but... But at the very least, doing something because of lasers. Yeah, getting comfortable. Yeah. That's one thing I noticed, like, playing the matchup. Like, initially, I was like, man, this matchup is so rough. But once you get more comfortable with lasers, you realize that Falco is actually so slow. Yeah. <laughs> you can just run and shield and like... Full hop over the things. Yeah, yeah we run and shield, full hop over, um, full hop retreat. But just in general, like staying, if you, if you can manage to stay grounded against um, Falco as the box, you're in such a good position. Oh. Uh, I don't know if he was going for fancy stuff or happened accidentally, but it didn't really cost him. Until now. Yeah, like as the fox there, if you... Um, if you don't think that your back air is going to be able to hit the Falco, even if your highest, like, let's hop there, then you should just go on stage. Yeah. Just, you know, go on stage and maybe... Well, it's hard, though, from that position, because Falco has so many options. Yeah, um, like, you can't re Once he kind of lands, you don't really have an op anything that can hit him. You kind of need to just try to run back to the middle first. Keep him in the corner. I guess he wasn't expecting that. I mean, they'll, I mean, they would have probably killed if we were set up for an easy edge guard and up sent anyway. Hey. Hey. Watch Kai's hands before. He really like jerks down in some way. The good thing is he's wearing headphones, so I can talk about him louder than normal. Yeah, but then you know when you uh, then, ruin the you box know. late, it's like. Yeah, I also have a habit of just probably pressing the buttons and the triggers a bit too hard. Yeah. And it's just trying to it looks like he puts his whole arm into it, some of them though. I wonder if that's just oh. shine out of shields trying to get him quick or something like that. Or... 
Or if he just really doesn't like his, like, I don't know, his getting the button or something. Getting those frustrations out. Oh, you know, the big red button. <laughs> you just gotta press it. Oh. Could have off smash out of shield. He went for the grab, and, like, that's. The grab's fine if you're guaranteed. If you, like, yeah. absolutely comfortable you're going to 100% get a hit out of it, which, I mean, you can get it back here easy. Yeah. And it was gonna KO. But if there's even a chance you're gonna mess up, just go for the up smash out of shield. But I guess you can also yeah, mess up. Yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, they're the same frame. Like, yeah. Like, just go for it. Like, when he was edge cutting there, he probably could have just. It was like, I'm sure he grabbed because he thought he would be late, but... Actually, funny enough, up smash out of shield is actually one frame later, just because you have to go for the one frame. Oh, yeah, out of shield, yeah. Which can actually make a difference sometimes against the yeah. shield pressure. Um, I'm surprised that didn't kill, but... Oh... This yeah, has been a brilliant stock from Eddie. Mm. Right. But now it's like... And now, he, he now he's getting lasered, yeah. <laughs> he just ain't... Oh, uh, that's gonna no. be it, yeah. That's the thing, you start thinking to yourself, okay, he's gonna go for back end, you just start playing too much chill, then you get a grab. Yeah. Well then, cool. yeah, the Falcon gets grabbed. It's like when Marfs get to um, F Smash or Fair Happy. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. people just start saying, wait, too much chill, then the Marf starts mixing up grab. Yeah, the difference is, Marf gets something out of grabs. He probably could have held left a little bit more and lived that. Yeah. But, I mean, um, Fort Throw is pretty fast. Yeah, but what else was he going to do? In that situation, all of Falco's throws, if you DI left, is good for you. Yep, it's just getting in the habit of, like, yeah. it's... Yeah. Huh? What's this? We're going back, but how that last dog makes sense. Yeah, because I mean, I wonder what Kaiban is in that spot. Maybe Yoshi. Yeah, I'd imagine Yoshi's, but I don't know. They, you could see him going like fountain or something weird. Sure. But yeah, Yoshi's probably. I'd imagine that'd be the Eddie's pick as well. Oh, the the air smash was actually really good because I mean. It was good because I wasn't expecting it. If I DI'd that properly, it's not as great, but... Oh, double shine crap, Jesus. He's pressing buttons. Yeah. But, you know, that's what he does. Yeah, Eddie's the sword oh, that, you know, we all have that, like, couple month break from SXE to EVAC starting up. You can come back and Eddie's like, oh, check out all this tech <laughs> I learned. Here's Lay's landing on the top platform. Here's... Like me doing this like moonwalk into slide off shine so that I drift real far. So you know he's practicing that sort of shit. He needs to learn the hardest tech of all. Patience on the ledge. Dashing back. <laughs> Dashing back. I can't remember. Oh, I think it was, okay. Oh, that's unfortunate for Kai. Oh. I think it was Don V a couple of years ago. He was watching Eddie. And he's just like, man, this guy would be real good if he just moved back once in his life. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, you watch any player, it's like, yeah, I don't, th I don't think I've ever seen him move back. Like, he wave dashes down sometimes, but like... I don't know, I've said it's like a decent amount now. Um, whenever I play Eddie... Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, whenever I play um, Eddie, there's always like a 15 to 20 second window. I'm like, holy shit, this guy, this guy is buffing me. And then he just does something really terrible and loses stock. Like, yeah, that sounds like Eddie. But if you can take those 15, 20 seconds and just yeah. capture that and just keep that like yeah. on permanently, it'd be well, insane. I think every scene has someone like Eddie. Like, I know Perth is the same with Lemon Pot, where he like hits that 10 seconds of utter brilliance and gets a quick 60 and then does nothing for like another, you know, minute or so. So there, when like, when Falco is, say, rolling to, say, tech rolling or, you know, get up rolling to the ledge, you can go for, say, because, I mean, Fox is scared to go for, say, just a raw grab, because if it misses, then they're going to get yeah. spot dodge shine. But, so you went for a um, shine up smash. You can also go for a double shine, and if the Falco doesn't, like, if, assuming the first shine hits and the Falco doesn't tech down, then it will generally hit the second shine and, not Falco oh, yeah. off stage in a really precarious oh, situation. Oh yeah, in a really terrible angle. Yeah, and it's 
really, really good for. Oh. Try and grab. Oh. I've been forward smashing a lot more recently, like the last few months. And it's like, sometimes it looks like it works pretty well, and other times. Hire, he saw Hyrie and he was like, this is How did he get to the, yeah. that high on the PR? Like, this is the truth. Yeah. Falco's man. It's a real good move, but. The hits, it hits, I guess. No, I mean, it's not like. I mean, Hyatt doesn't generally go for just flat yeah, he doesn't or just, yeah. S match or. Not like Billy does. <laughs> oh. Billy will try to call that soul with a fucking F smash. So, presumably, Eddie Band FD. Yeah, I'd imagine so. He's played Kai there before, I think. Imagine he would have been. See, I feel like the problem with this stage is that. Um, his punish game, I'd say, overall is quite a bit better. Eddie's gonna be ooh, you're generally getting like his stocks from stuff like that, or like that's where he's gonna be getting his advantages from. But because the stage is so long, yeah, you can't really go for full Gimps and stock. Like you've like, gotta like out neutral them to get a good punish multiple times. Because if like Falco gets knocked down and then rolls on something like say Yoshi's or even like now, yeah. um, he's, he's probably near the, the, he's near the ledge. At which point, say another shine is going to, or another hit is probably going to knock Falco off stage and set up an edge guard. Whereas this, he's got so much room to just. Yeah, I think that's one thing that's really big I've noticed with Fox Mains is how much they grab Falco. Get your hands on him. You get so much out of a grab. You get like up smash into tech chase into more up smash. Yeah, you get a you get a whole lot. Um, and a lot of the foxes just don't grab. I don't know why. Uh, I get he's grabbing a decent amount, but like I would say I'd say at least more recently I've been seeing a lot of like I know I've been seeing most of my foxes from either Sora or Vic, and oh, they generally yeah. all go grab. Yeah, well, um, like the competent foxes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. That, that's I, was like, I think that's the classic, like, smoke up of, I can't beat Falco, and it's like, you don't grab it. Uh, I mean... Uh, I mean, you don't want to go for a grab, obviously. Yeah, oh, right. Like, you can't just only go for grab. It just, it seems like Fox's best option in the matchup to get a guaranteed big damage sort of thing. And if you don't go for it and you're not getting the like call it something out, getting up tilt sort of hits, you're yeah. probably not gonna out like punish Falco at any point. I feel like generally your goal is to get a knockdown first. Yeah, which, well then like, you can get a grab. And then, out yeah, of that, yeah. then you get yeah, knockdown into a tech chase into you know ideally a grab. And then to work on yeah. platform tech chases. That's something I really struggle with at the moment. Um, just tech chasing in general on platforms as Fox well, is just yeah. It's well, it's really one of those things where you have to like either time your dash dances so that you can hit the whole platform like after reacting, or you've got to be able to fling your moves out in a way that covers two options, and then your drift helps you cover the other ones. So yeah. Which is why it's so difficult. You can't do like a cheap dash stack and then like down here the second place. Dash tag if they roll, sort of thing. Can't do anything like that. Uh, Wait, was that quarters or was that not quarters? That was no, that was eight because. Oh wow! Yeah, right. Ruben set went short. Mm. And that's his what is bracket. I just realised. Goddamn. Oh, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Alright, loses quarters. <laughs>